I can't stop thinking about it. Just the other day. I was sitting in traffic on my way home from work. I was trying to rock my screaming baby to sleep in the darkness. Laughing superficially at my boss's joke, pretending not to notice he was drunk out of his mind. And the thought occurred to me, what, what has happened to you? You used to be so sure of what you wanted to do with your life. Happily married. You used to be so in control of everything. It's funny how life speeds up. Slows down to this agonizing pace. When, when you, you lose something so important to you. When you're pursuing something you want so badly, but you can't have it. Can't seem to grasp it. And then I thought to myself, I need peace. I want peace. And right then, in that moment, I heard the, the voice, voice of, of my mother. My Sunday school teacher. My college boyfriend. I think I heard the voice of God speaking to my heart. And he said, fear not, I'm with you. He said, nobody cares how you feel. And she said, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. I will never leave you or forsake you. I remember that quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. Nothing can give you peace but yourself. Nothing but the triumph of your principles. When I heard that, I felt so comforted, free, judged, confused. How can I have peace when there's so much I'm unsure of? Is there a job out there that would actually be fulfilling? Am I going to be a good mom? Will this be the year when things finally turn around? Can our marriage be saved? Will I find friends here? If peace is something I just can't make. Manufacture. If I can't buy it or achieve it or pull myself up by my own bootstraps. bootstraps. and make it on my own. Even if I want it desperately? Somewhat desperately. I'd like to have it. Where is it going to come from? Where? Where?